Do you have issues trying to cover up the dark circles underneath your eye? I'm gonna let you in on a little hint. You shouldn't do what you think you do. The color underneath your eyes are usually blue and purple, more on the purple side, but let me show you what you think you should do versus what you should actually be doing. You might be taking your concealer or your brightening shade and really trying to put it on underneath your eye like this to cover it. Okay, so you see what this looks like. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm going to show you a little trick on this side. What if I took my brightening shade and I only put it here in the inside and then I take a color on my hand right here, it's this one right here, and I'm just going to put a dot right Okay, so the colors that are within this shade, Frenchie, have some orange undertones, which guess what? Orange is the opposite of blues and purples on the color wheel. So this is gonna neutralize the dark circles underneath your eyes. Let's see what happens when I blend this in. I have both options now blended in. This side, I did the triangle and filled it all in with my brightening shade. And this side, I only applied it to this part of my eye. And then I did an orangey undertone shade underneath my eyelid. So what do you see? I see on this side that the makeup is starting to be clumped together because there was so much product that I put underneath my eye. This part of your eye underneath has such thin skin, you really shouldn't put on that much makeup. Here's a, here's a hint. The further you go up your face towards your eyes, the less product you should put there because your skin is so thin. Thin, the more you put on, the more cakey and crinkly it's going to be once you get it all set in. Now on this side, it doesn't even look like I have anything there, but you know what else? It also doesn't look like I have dark circles under my eyes. And that's what we really want makeup to do. We want the makeup to truly hide what our blemishes and those spots that we want to troubleshoot and color correct are, rather than make it look like we have a ton of makeup on our face. So what do you think? Do you guys see what I'm talking about?